I'll talk to you in a few minutes. I've got to do a video for Toastmasters District 81. Okay, talk to you soon. All right. Hey, it's amazing what you find actually when you're out walking the land. A camera right in the middle of the highway. I wonder does it work? Crikey, it does, it does. Hey, District 81, Connor Canine, Irishman Speaks. Just out walking the land here at the moment. Oh, don't I wish. And I'm delighted to hear that you want me to present at your meeting in the Caribbean. I'd love to be there. What? It's not in the Caribbean. It's a virtual one. So I'm going to be here freezing in Chicago while they're down in a nice warm climate. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, hi District A1, Connor Canine here. I'm delighted to offer to present at your District 81 conference. Yep. So a couple of options we could talk about when we're doing the presentations of a number of different programs that will help Toastmasters to grow and develop and improve their speaking skills and also their leadership skills. Uh, program number one would be the gift of, what? The other side. Okay. Program number one would be the gift of gab. That's right. Goals, attitude, behavior. And how goals, attitude, behavior will help people to become better Toastmasters, create a better Toastmaster club environment, and also improve their skill sets for the business environment. That would be option number one. Program number two would be adding humor. Wrong side again. Okay. Adding humor to your presentation. And I promise you the presentation will be significantly better than the actual spelling of this presentation. The idea here is that I'll provide you with tips, tricks, and techniques that will help you to put a smile in your audience's face, put a laughter into their body. And when people are laughing and smiling, they're connecting better with you. Your message is resonating better with them as well. So that's the second option we could speak about. Option number three would be one of my favorite ones. I've written two books on Mark Twain and the program will be titled What Mark Twain Can Learn You. See, I got it right. See the side, yeah, okay. What Mark Twain Can Learn You About Public Speaking. I take you through nine lessons from the speeches and writings of Mark Twain that amazingly spell the acronym, those nine lessons, spell Mark Twain. Now, what are the chances of that happening? So that's a brief overview of what I could present. I've also got a number of other topics that might be of interest to you, including how to create interesting, fun, interactive Zoom presentations that keep people engaged during what are often really boring present, sorry, presentations. Okay, so Conor Canine, Irishman Speaks, coming to you from Chicago, despite this wonderful Irish background here, I would love to chat with you further as to what the options and your requirements are for your event. So stay healthy, stay well, stay warm, stay safe. Connor Canine signing out from Walking the Land. Cheers.